Hello everyone, I'm Sydney Perry and today I'm going to be showing you what I pack in my bag for vacation but more specifically what I pack for my hair when I go on vacation. You're on the beach, you're having a great time, the sun is beaming, your skin is glowing, then your hair is dry and flaky by the end of the day and you didn't pack anything. The only option you have is that janky little shampoo bottle in the hotel shower and we all know those are not made for this type of hair. So, what did I pack, you may ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I have a shampoo and a conditioner from Curl Mix, and I also have a moisturizer and a gel, all TSA approved 3.4 fluid ounces of curly hair goodness that are gonna last me my whole trip. And I can do a wash and go, twist out, braid out, buns, slick it all the way back, whatever I want. And these products give me that versatility. So not all hair companies have travel size hair products for curly hair, which makes it a real struggle to find something <laughs> that works for our hair. So I'm so happy I found these and I can't wait to style my hair on vacation and look super cute in all my pictures. And who knows, maybe I'll see somebody on the beach and you know they'll talk to me and be like, hey girl, you have really nice hair. I'm like, yes, I do. Thank you. I would bring a cute little spray bottle that can't throw it away for some water in it. And <laughs> that way I can, you know, style my hair. I also have my brush and my clips. So that way if I need to spend a little bit more time, you know, instead of like a quick literal wash and go, these will help me be a little bit more detailed with my styling process. Anyway, we're moving on <laughs> to the what I carry my products in, which is conveniently a plastic clear bag, <laughs> which conveniently keeps all my products together, but more importantly, keeps all the products inside. Because we all know that sometimes when you bring like these bottles and stuff on the airplane, by the time you get down, your location, it has exploded and it's all over your clothes, your makeup, whatever, and that sucks. So I highly recommend getting a plastic clear bag so that way you can see everything inside, keep everything clean, and you know, if something does spill, you can just wipe it out. I keep my makeup bag separate from my hair bag because like I said, if you happen to explode some products in here and they get all of your makeup, then that ruins your makeup. And then, you know, your face might look a little meh. I mean, I'm all for the natural look, but if you're trying to, you know, glam it up one day, now there's hair product stuff all over it. What are you gonna do now? Exactly. So, I highly recommend having two separate bags um, to keep your products in, so that way everything is good to go and you look great on your vacation. I almost forgot my silk pillowcase. I know what you're thinking. What? You bring your own pillowcase on vacation? Yeah, don't you? <laughs> but actually, this is a really great idea to bring because we all know those pillowcases that they probably don't even wash. You didn't hear it from me. But you can put this on top of those pillowcases and not only will it protect your face, your body, it'll also protect your hair. So, you know, when you go on vacation, you're taking a break from life, you're getting a break from all the craziness, but it's not a break for hair care. So I highly recommend you bring all this with you. While your big products stay at home, you can keep your little products in this cute little bag, throw it under the sink when you're not on vacation, and then it's time to go on vacation again. You whip it out, and you don't have to worry about forgetting anything ever again. I'm Sydney, I hope you have a great time on your trip, and hopefully this was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>